neuroscience has made enormous strides over the last 20 or 30 years. One of the things we've learned is how we organize our perception of our bodies. How we know if someone touches my cheek or someone touches my toe is because there's actually a map inside our brain. That map is organized just like you might think. Regions that are nearby each other on the body are nearby each other in the brain. So when someone touches a part of my body, I know where it is because neurons inside my head are activated in a particular location. If I have a condition like a slip disc or an amputation, that map can become greatly distorted. It can be expanded because when we have pain, we pay attention. When we pay attention, the brain actually changes its organization. The brain rewires itself because it thinks something really important is happening in that region where the back pain or the amputation occurred. Unfortunately, after you get too many neurons responding, they begin talking to each other, and actually that increase in activity causes pain. We didn't know this before, but we now know that many forms of central neuropathic pain are not generated out in the body at all, but are generated up in the brain. That sounds bad. How are you going to fix the problem if it's in the brain? But we've learned a new method to be able to reorganize the brain and put it back the way it was before. And we have evidence that it might actually be able to eliminate the pain. The idea is to use the same method that got you into this problem to get you back out. When you pay attention to a painful uh, location like your back, you're releasing neurotransmitters that actually increase the number of neurons that respond to that stimulus. What we're going to do in our therapy is deliver those same neurotransmitters while someone touches your hand or your lips or your toes. We're going to avoid the area that's painful. And by telling the brain every other area is important, but not this area that hurts, we're going to shrink that area down. And in our early studies, it looks like we can actually eliminate the pain.